Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm your host, Will Vestal, alongside Angie Torres. This week we have highlights of your, our varsity champion volleyball team and your football and soccer teams as they battled through regionals and looked to take on state. The Lady Ravens volleyball team traveled to Topeka to play in the state tournament last Friday and Saturday. Jared the Snake Catcher has the story. The Lady Ravens volleyball team traveled to Topeka to compete for state. The Ravens breezed through Friday matches, never losing a set, putting them in the final four. On Saturday, the Ravens played Shawnee Mission East for the semifinals. After losing the first set, the Ravens stormed back to win the next two sets and advanced to the championship against the defending state champions, Blue Valley West. The Ravens took set one, but fell short set two. A rally of points in the third and final set put Northwest well ahead, where they would keep the lead and take the state championship. Last Friday, Olathe opened the 2016 football playoffs against Gardner Edgerton. Let's take it to Angie Torres with the recap. Last Friday night, the football team played in the third playoffs ever as they faced Gardner Edgerton. Cooper then sets up the first touchdown as he zips the ball to Phil Hunter. Field goal no good. Ravens leading 6 to nothing. Moving to second half, Ravens down 15-9 until this happens. He's going to throw a screen to Elijah Rowland. He's got one guy to beat. And oh, two guys. He jukes right out of two guys. Oh, he's going to stay on his feet. He's going to run down the side. Touchdown to the Northwest. Oh, Elijah Rowland. Thank you to Roan Stanley for the call. Ravens now up 16-15. Ravens defense continues to play hard, keeping them up by one late in the game. But then Hunter Skeens gets things going for the Blazers as he gets to the two-yard line and punches it in for the touchdown. Ravens one last chance to change things up, but Easton Carper pass is picked off by Zach Bass, who returns the ball into Raven territory. The Ravens is another heartbreaker. 23 to 16, finishing the seasons three and six. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Angie Torres. Good job, guys, and a great year. The Ravens soccer team played against Shawnee Mission West in the regional championship game last Thursday at Seaback. Let's kick it over to Zach Clay and Matt Vanderslice with the story. On Thursday, October 28th, the Ravens competed against the Shawnee Mission West Vikings to try and move on to the state tournament. The Ravens came out firing early in the first half with a shot from Jack Cashman hitting off the post just nine minutes into the game and another shot coming from Grant Gertson missing barely to the right. The rest of the first half remained locked at a 0-0 score. Tempers started to boil over early in the second half, eventually leading to a red card on the Ravens, leaving them with a huge disadvantage. The Ravens continued to fight, however, and Eric Cooksey was finally able to put the Ravens on the board in the 61st minute. Chase Kluzman was able to follow that up with a penalty kick late in the second half, closing out the game and giving the Ravens a 2-0 win. We were able to catch up with Coach Graham after the game about how it felt to be able to move on to the state tournament. I'm excited for the guys. They've done everything the right way this year, and, and as hard as they've worked and, and the results and everything else, it's, it's exciting for them to, to be able to get over there and take pictures with that trophy. I'm excited for them. For Matt Vanderslice, this has been Zach Clay. Nice one, boys. That's all for Games in Northwest. Now back to the desk.